everyone, it's Julia. I have an upcycled project for you today. Um, a couple weeks ago, I did a thrift store haul and I was able to pick up um, lots of long sleeve shirts. They had their shirt, long sleeve shirts on sale for 99 cents each. I think they were just kind of getting rid of fall to make room for the spring items. And so I had a really good deal on shirts. And I picked up this denim shirt. Uh, it doesn't have a brand on it, but it's a size um, 2X. And it's a snap front, which I, I just like snap fronts, fronts. They're just kind of fun. Um, I already started this on the back, but I am going to just walk you through what I did. As you can see, I bleached the back of this. And this is where I'm gonna put a little design. And how I did this, um, first of all, you need to find, I, I, I always do it outside. Um, and okay, I live in Minnesota and the sunny days are very far and few between here this spring, but I did find a sunny day. I just think they dry faster and they just seem to do um, a little bit more of the bleaching effect when it's a sunny day. Um, and I, this is a product that I use. It's just a Lysol bleach multi-purpose cleaner and bleach isn't is not something you want to do every day. It's this is you know, you know what you know, it's bleach but I do take some precautions. Like I said, I'm always outside in a well-ventilated area. I do lay a protective tarp down on my grass, and then I just go ahead and lay my shirt down. Um, and I open it up so that, you know, it's just a single layer on the tarp. And then you basically just spray the bleach right on the area that you want. This is uh, similar to like a gel or, or a foam, so it doesn't move a lot. So it stays in place quite well. I mean, you can, you're gonna get some overspray, but I, that's just all part of it. Um, I just leave it outside and in the sun until it's completely dry. And then I take it to my washing machine and I just wash it. And then you just get this just fun look. You can just, there's just a lot of things you can do with it and I'll be sharing more. I do like to do the same technique on shorts and, and cut off jeans um, to give it that grunge look uh, and, and it just looks cute with patchwork or just a fabric collage. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you my little design that I'm going to work on. I've, I think I'm going to do um, a bicycle design on the back that I have, I have a packet for it. And I've done this in a, in a different video, um, and this I'll link this packet down below. It's available in my Etsy store. But I want to do there's three different sized bicycles, and I'm going to do the medium sized one, and just kind of do something fun on uh, just like a bike bike scene, just something really summery. Um, and then in the front, I think I'm just going to do something just very simple. So I hope you enjoy this. Let's get started. Here are some of the supplies that I'm going to be using. I've got my template, some scraps of fabric for my, my applique pieces, and a bunch of flowers that I previously cut out. This was a yardage fabric that I ironed the heat and bond light to the back and then just cut these out in front of the TV one night. And I use these in a lot of my different designs. My heat and bond light, and then the, I'm going to be also be using that water soluble um, stabilizer. I'm going to start with my grass. I have two different shades of green here. Um, I'm just going to be snipping and ripping. Just going to do a layer of both of these greens. I'm doing the ripping because I do like that look. It almost has a grass look to it. And I'm just using white school glue. Just putting a couple dots on the underneath side. Now this glue is completely washable and also does not gum up your sewing machine as long as you have it, as long as it's completely dried. So it's just fun to use. I notice that these flowers are the same size as these little wheels. So I'm going to use those instead of um, cutting out more more um, circles. Sometimes things just work out like that, and it's just kind of fun to to see it come together. I'm tracing the rest of my shapes on the back side of my heat and bond light. Um, already reversed on my templates, and so I can just trace right, you know, the orientation is correct. And there's just three little pieces that I need. And then ironing them on the back side of my little scraps that I've picked out.
and then just getting those cut out. And then I'm carefully putting them someplace so I don't lose them. That's never happened in my sewing room before. Onto this um, water soluble stabilizer. It's a film and it's completely see through. And so I'm, I'm just drawing my design. This is the, the way I like to put, um, just to transfer my design onto my piece. Especially if you can't see through it, like I can't see through this denim shirt. And so this is just an easy way of doing it. Once that's cut out, I, I just lay it on the shirt. Or excuse me, once I've drawn it out, I just lay it on the shirt where I want it. And I'm taking a piece of, of tape. This is just a washi tape. Masking tape would work just as well. Laying it on the top. I'm removing that heat and bond light. And then I can lift that film up and I can see where my design needs to be. Again, just lifting that film up and getting those wheels into the right position. And then going to be going on to the bicycle seat and that little gearbox and then adding the basket. And then I can, can lift that completely up and iron those into place. Just adding a couple more pieces of the tape just to keep it in, in, in the, so it doesn't move at all when I'm at my sewing machine. You can also use pins for this, but I find sometimes those get in the way. One more thing I need to do before I actually do the sewing is I want to add a stabilizer. And this is just a, a stitch and tear stabilizer. Tears really easily. And that'll be going on the underneath side of my shirt. I'm just going to get it all lined up there. So I'm at my sewing machine and I have my free motion foot on. Just gonna do a little jiggle and then I'm gonna cut my tail. Now I am going through three layers. I have that film on the top and then my denim shirt and then underneath is that white, that's that um, stabilizer, that stitch and tear stabilizer. And you can see that you can, you can just see that design so easily now, I, right through that, that film. Um, and then I, like I said, these, these flowers work so well for these wheels. Even the center of the flower is, is right where the center of the, of the little wheel would be. So it worked out. Just outlining my, my, does my applique pieces, just free motion stitching all that into place. And then getting the lines of that bike. And I like to go over it twice just to make it more pronounced. I should mention too that I am using a, a bobbin thread in the bobbin and I have and I believe it's just a white thread I'm using um, and then I am using a navy blue all-purpose thread on top. Jump down to to do my grass and I'm doing pretty whimsical little wiggly lines for this grass just to kind of add uh, just some stitching and some almost doodling with it. And you can see what I mean when I when I go back over this. I'm not going to even try to get on the line. I kind of want that wiggly look. Everything too that I be I'm using in this project, I will link down below in the description. I'm carefully removing that film removing all the big pieces. Um, you don't want to distort your stitches at this, but it does tear really quite easily. Sometimes I use my scissor like I'm doing there to get into, into little areas. You're not going to get 
all of it off um, and I'll show you what next what I what I do for that but getting as much of the big pieces off as I can now I'm gently spraying this so just get to get it damp this is water soluble so it literally kind of disappears and then taking my paper towel and my iron and just pressing over the top of that and then all the extra little pieces will just end up on this paper towel and you can see it, it just kind of gives them some dark some black marks on it back to the flowers I wanted to add just a tumbling bouquet of flowers that kind of tumbles out of this bike basket so I'm having to do some cutting I'm um, just removing the leaves and putting the leaves in other places just to make it make more sense. I want to do something to the bottom of this too, or the grass, just add a leaf or so. But then I decided I want to add some words. I have just a plain piece of muslin there and my scraps of heat and bond light. I keep a bag of scraps just for these little projects. So I have heat and bond light added to the back of this muslin and I have my archival ink which is a waterproof ink and then I'm using this design that says delight in life or it's a stamp I got the stamp at, at the thrift store the same time I bought the shirt I'm just getting that stamped into place I didn't quite like the um, the impression it off a little bit and so I'm just filling it in with my uh, my 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 pan these are waterproof pans they're um, Faber Castell pans love them they come in five different nibs or, or yeah this is the small I believe but they come in four different sizes and just easy to do that kind of a thing with it and again they're they're waterproof and then cutting that out with my pinking shears just to add a little edge to it removing the backing on that and we'll be ironing that into place and then also going to add one of those little flowers to the just the corner and then didn't show it but I just stitched those into place and then to remove that backing again this just gently tears and whatever is left will go just disappear in the wash now for the front I'm going to do something like I said really simple I'm just adding little strips of that the same fabrics that I used in the front I have heat and bond light again on the back side of them and then going to be just ironing these into place and then back to my sewing machine I have my regular foot on and I'm going to be I'm doing the oh it's like an uh, zi or excuse me it's like a applique stitch almost looks like a blanket stitch but you could certainly do a zigzag for this as well and I'm using my white thread because there was a lot of white stitching on the front of this I'm just going around each one of these and here's what it looks like I have some pictures at the end I did decide to put a little bit of bleach on the front and I went through that doily just to kind of give it so that's another idea you can even go through stencils it's not the exact same impression but it, it's just a lot of fun and here's some pictures of the back and some close-ups of it I hope you all have a wonderful week thanks for joining me today bye for now